welcome back to my channel. As you see, I just finished cutting my hair. Not that long ago, my hair is bad, like bad. I haven't cut my hair since like November, so it was horrible. But the end results came out. My hair looks cleaner. It's healthier. It's it's love it. It's the back of it. more as I'm cleaning your ends because I'm not really cutting my ends I'm more removing all the split ends that are in my hair but anyway let me not rumble off about this whole cleaning whatever if you want to see how I clean my ends then keep on watching and to begin with I pick up my wide tooth comb and I make a straight line down the middle of my head and I just had the right side of my head not my head, my hair, sorry guys and from the bottom of my ear I just make a line straight to part it and I just tie up the rest of the hair in a ponytail I also like to take a barbie pin and just clip my ponytail now I just make sure the bottom of my hair is straight and I'm just basically taking off like a half a centimeter I'll say and just chopping it off and as you see what I was doing before is I like to take my scissors and just chop off a little bit so it doesn't give me that straight look and right here as you can see anything that's popping out from a twist that I was creating before that's all split ends so I'm just twisting my hair and then just removing all the split ends that are popping out from the Twist. I love doing this method because it really removes all your split ends without removing any mess from your hair. So if you're really trying to grow your hair, this is like the best step. I'll say, now that I've finished doing that, I take the barbie pin and the ponytail off. And from the top of my ear, I just make another part. Now, I'm just cutting off another centimeter off my ends. And just snipping off a little bit of it so it doesn't give me that straight look. Twisting the rest of, not the rest, but twisting that part that I had. And just removing all the split ends. You want to make sure that you're careful because you don't want to chop off any hair off your hair. Now that I'm done with that, I take the whole section of my hair and I bring it up. And whatever falls, I chop off from wherever my finger lays at. And that will make sure that both of those sides are even. And I'm doing basically the same thing over and over and over. Making a twist with my hair and just snipping off anything that's popping up from that twist. This takes a lot of time, but I'm telling you, it's so worth it. Now I untied my right side and I make a straight line from the bottom of my ear like I did to the left side. I'm just pinning up the rest of my hair to get it out the way. And I grab a little bit from the left side and I put it against the right side and I put them together so I can know exactly what I have to chop off to make both of the sides even because I don't want to have to lopsided sides or un two uneven sides and I'm just twisting the rest of my hair and just snapping off whatever is popping out and from the top of my ear I make another straight line pin up the rest and I make little scissor fingers with my hands and I flip it for some reason when I flip it it's easier for me to chop off on that side I don't know why but it is and like I did to the other side where I bring it all the way up and whatever falls is where I'm chopping from and I'm just snipping so it doesn't give me that straight line and I had to chop a little bit because it wasn't even and doing my twist whoa lots of split ends <laughs> and just snipping everything off just be very careful guys I really don't want you guys to chop off your hair and then you're yeah, screaming because now you have to chop off even more hair off I'm telling you just be very careful doing this step I just had to retwist it because I had a lot of split ends so there was a lot of snipping to do now that I'm done with that, I 
put all my hair together and I'm just make a big twist. And the reason I do this is because for some reason, it's just easier to do to remove my split ends just to make sure that there's no more split ends in my hair. And I bring it to the other side and I just do the same thing just to make sure that I'm removing as much of split ends as possible. Now I tie up the bottom of my hair since I'm not going to be working with that no more. And I untie my ponytail. Now I'm creating an inch part down the middle of my head. I'm making scissor fingers with my fingers. And I'm removing, I'll say, mm, probably an inch-ish around there off. I really don't know exactly how much I took off. But. And now I'm doing the same thing. I twist my part. And I'm just removing all the split ends. That are popping out. My bangs were getting kind of annoying. Well, I really don't have bangs, but my bangs were getting annoying. And so I had to push them to the side and just continue doing my twist. Now I'm taking another inch off the right side of my hair. Now I'm doing basically the same thing I did before. Oh, yeah, and I'm removing an inch off my left side. And I'm brushing those, not brushing, I'm combing those sections together. And I'm making scissor fingers and since I cut off recently already um, wherever that cut is at I'm just cutting straight across so both of those sides are even and I'm just snipping off the rest of my hair so it doesn't give me that straight look again and doing the twist and I think you guys got the idea and I'm basically doing the same thing over again taking an inch from them from the right side and then off the right side, pushing my hair down together and snipping off wherever the fresh cut line is at and twisting it and twisting it and snipping inch um, inch from the left and inch off from the right, push them together, whatever the line starts at, I just snap that off and repeat. I'm just basically doing the same steps over and over for the rest of my right side of my head. Now I'm just making a straight line down the middle of my head and I'm taking an inch from my left side and an inch from my right side combining them together now since the right side is already cut that will be my guide to where to cut from so I cut from I cut from wherever the guide is at it just makes it very simple that way just to make sure your hair is even I'm tying this section of my hair because I'm not gonna be working with that no more and I'm doing my twist as you guys already know this I'm slipping off whatever is poking out an inch from my left side, an inch from my right side. And since the right side is already cut, I have my guide to where to cut from. So I'm just gonna cut whatever the guide's at. And snipping off whatever, so I just give me a straight line. And I'm basically repeating this throughout my whole rest of my hair, so. Done repeating myself, guys. <laughs> I think you guys got understand exactly what I'm doing now. So just keep enjoying the video and keep watching exactly my steps. So if there are any new steps, I will let you guys know. Now that I'm finally done, I'm just combing out my hair to make sure, you know, it's 
combing it. And I'm making a part from wherever I normally part my hair. And as you can see, my hair looks so much smoother. It looks nicer and whatnot. And I'm making a twist on my right side of my hair. And I'm just doing basically the same step. I'm making a big twist to just see if there's any more hair popping off from the twist and just removing that off. And from the middle, I would say the middle of my part, I go straight down. I guess I'll see. I don't even know what to call that. I'm sorry guys. And I'm just snapping off a little bit off because as you've seen, it was kind of uneven. Just to make sure it's straight. Not straight, but even. Uh, Joanna. Sorry, guys. My wording is horrible. And I make a big twist and just snap off whatever's poking out. And I do the same thing with the last part of my hair. Make a big twist and just snapping off and just making sure that it's even. And I don't believe it's even, so I just snapped off wherever the hair dropped from and. Voila, I'm finally done. This took me about 30-ish minutes to do. I mean, it was slower before, but as you get used to doing this, it'll be faster and faster and faster to do. Right now, I'm at 30 minutes, guys, so I think that's amazing. And everything's straight and okay. Let me know what you guys think about my whole cutting method down below. I really appreciate it. You guys enjoyed my video as much as I did. And I'll see you guys soon.